I'm doing some thermal testing on the IGBT. I have a thermal couple attached to the heat sink. And according to the data sheet, the IGBT can operate with temperatures up to 150 degrees C, which is 302 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to run it for a while and see what temperature the heat sink gets up to. I'm not going to let it reach the 302, but it'll give me some idea. All right, so here we go. And now we're above the temperature of boiling water. And it still operates fine at that temperature. And I'm not exactly sure how long I was running it, probably over a minute. Now the temperature isn't dissipating quite as quickly as I would like, but it's pretty good. And if that temperature continues to be an issue, I can just increase the speed. And the faster the motor is going, the less voltage is seen across the IGBT, or less uh, resistance, so less power will be dropped across the IGBT and more power will be dropped across the motor itself, so it won't get quite as hot. Now something you may have noticed while the motor was running was it continued to get faster and faster and the reason for that is because the temperature was increasing and when the temperature increases the voltage drop across the IGBT decreases and the current would go up as you can see on this graph.